huge drop for silver today. It is down over a dollar. Meanwhile, gold is down over 80 dollars this is one of those rare times when precious metals are falling and the dollar is getting crushed on the same day so we're going to talk about what this means for precious metals moving forward stick around for the end of the video i'm going to be doing a little unboxing showing you what silver i'm adding to my stack so let's get into it SD Bullion is giving away a monster box of 2024 Tree of Life silver coins. Sign up today at sdbullion.com slash sweepstakes. Thank you so much for watching. I do sincerely appreciate it. And boy, does someone have a case of the Mondays. Take a look at silver sitting at $30.36. Huge drop today. It is so strange to see silver falling because the dollar is getting crushed today as well this is so rare for precious metals usually they do the opposite of whatever the dollar is doing so today is definitely a unique day why is this the case in the past we've seen economic reports come out and shift the dollar one way typically metals the other way however there was nothing scheduled for today so no new economic data coming out this is not what's affecting metals by the way while we're here i just wanted to say it's a short week so there's nothing going on on thursday and friday because we got thanksgiving coming up however lots of stuff going on on wednesday we've got the gdp numbers coming out uh pce core pce index so it's possible we could see a big move in metals on wednesday with all of this economic data but that's not what's going on today we are seeing a new all-time high for the stock market lots of money flowing out of metals into stocks scott besant has been named as donald trump's pick for u.s treasury secretary and let me tell you both the u.s stock market and the bond market is absolutely loving this why i just want to go over a few of the key points in this article which came out today they say strategists regard hedge fund manager scott besant founder of connecticut-based investment firm key square group as a safe pair of hands and why wouldn't they i mean we're talking about a billionaire hedge fund manager i think he's going to be good for business it is expected the 62 year old will push for trump to consider a softer approach to tariffs strip back regulation to boost economic growth and target a reduction in deficit spending okay so boosting economic growth well this could be good for the dollar it could be good for silver as well i mean silver is looked at as an industrial metal so if we need more silver to produce more things because of a booming economy this could be fine for precious metals but this right here a reduction in deficit spending that is what is actually bad for the metals the metals thrive when everything is falling apart so if they're trying to cut back on the deficit maybe even lower the deficit at some point this is not super great super bullish for gold and silver i also want to point out that bitcoin moved lower today so it's not just precious metals it's all of the alternative assets right like i said before money is flowing out of them and into the stock market by the way bitcoin never did actually hit a hundred thousand i know some of you are keeping track it got up to 99.4 thousand dollars each bitcoin it's fallen since then so i don't know if it's going to hit that 100k anytime soon it might i mean anything's possible so i think the big reaction in precious metals today mainly has to do with the new treasury secretary pick i mean long term how's this going to affect gold and silver well there's still a lot of other things going on in fact if we take a look at the target rate probabilities for the upcoming fed meeting on december 18th you can see cme group is still Still predicting a 55% chance of another rate cut. So they're saying it's more likely than not we're going to see rates continue to come down. This is bullish for precious metals. It's typically bad for the dollar when we see rates go down. And I think it's certainly possible that if they want the economy to be booming, that, well, they're going to want rates to go even 
lower. So this could be a good sign for precious metals moving forward. And as I pointed out earlier, lots of economic data coming out on Wednesday. So I am expecting a big move on Wednesday. I don't know if metals are going to move lower. I'm not sure, but I am expecting some type of fireworks in just two days from now. So there you have it. That's what's going on with gold and silver right now. Kind of a crazy way to start out the week. But look, I am buying the dip. When we see precious metals go down to me that just screams it's time to buy more that's exactly what i'm doing and in fact this week is a great week to be picking up precious metals because not only do we have lower prices but also we have black friday coming up there's going to be lots of great sales on black friday i'm going to be taking advantage of a bunch of them so i might do a video on it or not stay tuned for that but let's take a look at some of the silver i recently picked up so we're doing a little unpackaging here i know it's not an unboxing but uh, we are adding some silver to the stack and uh, check these out we've got five tubes of 2024 american silver eagles these are all sealed by the mint so i'm not going to open them up because some people think they're worth a little bit more if they're sealed I actually don't think so. I don't think it really matters. I think when you go to sell these back to a dealer, they're not really going to care. I mean, they might even just open up the tube, put all the coins out on display anyway. So probably doesn't matter that much, but just in the off chance, these are worth a little bit more sealed, maybe, I don't know, a dollar, five dollars. I'm going to leave them sealed for now, but we're adding a bunch of silver eagles to the stack. As many of you know, I like to stack a combination of silver eagles or silver coins. I also like to stack generic silver. We're talking rounds and bars and then the constitutional silver or the junk silver. Now, because I really want to show off some silver, I'm just going to show my pickups at the coin show that I recently went to up in Tacoma, Washington. I picked up all of these ounces of silver for just $32 each. So really good deal. I love going to the coin shows. This one here is one of those older Libertads, 1984. Got some interesting toning on it, but uh, not a bad pickup if I do say so myself. Got one of the newer style Libertads as well. I love these coins from Mexico. This one is 2022. A little bit scuffed up, but hey, it's not the end of the world. When you're paying 32 bucks an ounce, you can't be too picky. I uh, got this one here. It's a police department for 9-11. And I picked this one up because it said, Land of the free, home of the brave, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I thought that was really cool, so I wanted to add that to the stack. Got a cool uh, Star Wars one there, Stormtrooper. Some of the Johnson Maffey ones. These are fun. I try and pick those up whenever I see them. And then my favorite two are the USS Constitution. Check this one out. Honest Value Never Fails. This one doesn't have a date on it. I've got a bunch of these. They're one of my all-time favorite rounds. This one had some really nice toning on it from the Constitution Mint. Check out that blue toning on the edge there. And this one does have a date. This one is 1973. So really cool piece there. This was actually my favorite one that I was able to pick up. And if you don't know, these ones say, No state shall make anything but gold and silver coin a tender in payment of debts. That's Article 1, Section 10 of the U.S. Constitution. So states cannot have their own fiat currency. If states want to have a currency, it has to be made out of gold or silver. Obviously, the federal government does whatever they want. But anyway, one of my all-time favorite silver round designs right here. So we could see some fireworks in silver price this week. I'm going to have my eyes peeled on Wednesday. And then Black Friday, lots of crazy sales going on for silver. I'm going to be buying lots of silver on Black Friday. I'll do a future unboxing video when all that comes in. But uh that was the news. I think we are in for a crazy ride in precious metals. If the price keeps coming down, I'm going to be buying all the way to the bottom and then buying as it rises back up from there. I don't know what the future holds. I just know that I want more silver. I want more gold. I don't want fiat currency. The destiny for fiat currency is very grim. So that being said, thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Silver Dragons out.